Hey everyone, welcome back to Quick Point Tech. Today, I'm going to show you a new method for creating multiple Gmail accounts without needing a phone number, a method that works in 2025. In this video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step through the entire process. So sit tight, grab your computer, and let's dive right in. The first step is to download Chrome Portable. Open your browser and head over to the search bar. Type in Chrome Portable Download and press Enter. Once the search results appear, click on the first result that says Google Chrome Portable Web Browser. Scroll down until you see the option that says Download from Portable Apps and click on it. As you wait for the download to start, take a moment to observe the process. Feel free to pause the video if you need extra time to follow along. As you can see on my screen, the download is starting in the browser. Click on the Save button to download the file to your computer. Once it's saved, locate the file in your Downloads folder and double-click to open the software. After opening the software, a pop-up window will appear asking you to install Chrome Portable. Click on OK and then Next. On the next screen, click I Agree to accept the terms and then click on Install. While the installation runs, notice how smooth the process is, and that's why we're using Chrome Portable. It's a great tool for creating unlimited Gmail accounts compared to the original Chrome browser. Once the installation is complete, click on Finish. You'll see a checkbox asking to launch Chrome Portable. Tick it and click on Finish once more. The app will open automatically. When Chrome Portable opens, you might see a welcome screen. Simply click on Skip to proceed directly to the main browser interface. Now that Chrome Portable is ready, let's search for Gmail Sign Up. In the browser's address bar, type Gmail Sign Up and hit Enter. Once the results load, click on the option that says Create a New Gmail Account. Scroll down and click on Create a New Gmail Account, then select Create Account for My Personal Use. Fill in your first and last name. You can enter any random first name and last name if you're looking for privacy. Next, you'll be prompted to enter your birthday details. Choose any month, day, and year you like. For gender, you can select any option. It's completely up to you. Once everything is filled out, click on Next. After clicking Next, you're asked to choose a Gmail alias. This will be your new email address. Type in the alias you want to use and click Next. Now, enter a random password. Make sure it's something you won't forget, but feel free to choose any combination. I'm entering my password of choice right now, then clicking Next or pressing Enter. At this point, you might notice that Gmail is asking for a phone number. So how do we bypass this phone number requirement? I'm going to show you a neat trick using a virtual phone number from a website called 5sim.net. Open a new tab in Chrome Portable and type 5sim in the search bar. Click on Got It when prompted, then search for 5sim.net login and click on that. Log in to your 5sim account. If you haven't created one yet, it's free and quick to set up. Once you're logged in, click on the Google or YouTube option. In my case, I'll be using an Indonesian feature phone number to verify. Choose any operator you like. I recommend selecting the cheapest option. For me, it goes for about 4.5 rubles. Wait a few moments while 5sim.net provides you with a virtual phone number. If you see a cancel message saying there are no numbers available, simply choose another operator. Once you've successfully purchased a virtual phone number, copy the number. Now go back to Gmail where it's asking for your phone number. Type Indonesia in the search bar to cross-check and then paste the phone number from 5sim.net. Verify that the number is correct, and then click on Next. Gmail will now ask for a verification code. Switch back to your 5sim.net tab and wait for the verification code to come through from Google. This might take a minute, so be patient. As soon as the code arrives, copy it and head back to Gmail. Paste the verification code into the field and click Next. Now Gmail will ask you to enter a recovery email address. This is optional, but I recommend entering one for added security. Type in your recovery email address and click Next. After clicking Next, you'll see another page with all your details. Simply click Next again, then scroll down and agree to all the terms. Once you do that, you'll be redirected straight to your new Gmail inbox. And there you have it, 
a Gmail account created easily without using your personal phone number. Now that you have your Gmail inbox, let's talk about creating multiple Gmail accounts that all lead to one inbox. This is done using Gmail aliases, and I'm gonna show you how using a tool called MailMeter. Open a new tab and search for Power Create Account Gmail Creator. In the search results, select the tool by Malin Mitchell. You'll see that the tool requires your email address. Go back to your Gmail inbox, copy the alias you just created, and return to MailMeter. Paste the alias into the designated box and click on Generate. In a few moments, you'll see a list of multiple Gmail accounts generated for you. All of these Gmail accounts are essentially aliases that will redirect to your original inbox. This means you can use them for signing up on various websites without having to manage multiple inboxes. To make sure everything is working correctly, let's verify one of these generated Gmail addresses by using it to create a Facebook account. Open Facebook and click on Join Facebook. Fill in the details with a random first name, a random surname, and choose any date of birth. I'm using random information here, so feel free to follow along with your own. On the gender field, choose any option you want. When you get to the email field, paste one of the Gmail addresses generated from MailMeter. Choose a password that you'll remember, and then click Sign up. Facebook will now load and ask for a verification code. Return to your original Gmail inbox and wait for the verification email. It usually takes less than a minute. Make sure to check your spam folder if you don't see it right away. Once the code arrives, copy it, head back to Facebook, paste the code in the verification field, and click Continue. Once confirmed, click OK. And that's it. You've successfully created a Facebook account using one of the Gmail aliases you generated earlier. As you can see, by using Chrome Portable, 5sim.net for virtual phone numbers, and MailMeter to generate aliases, you can create multiple Gmail accounts without ever needing to provide your personal phone number. This method is quick, secure, and perfect for managing multiple online accounts from one primary inbox. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Quick Point Tech, and click on the bell icon so you never miss a tutorial. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy emailing.